patient should have elevations of cholesterol, yes or yes? Absolutely, absolutely. So, so we're, we're in a different environment now where our systems are going to have to change to adapt to this environment. It's like 10,000 years ago, we had um, broader shoulders, thicker arms, and, well, you know, kind of look like my son. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, now, now miso, detoxing. Now when they had this, and this is miso made out of barley, because you can get some miso made out of fish. Miso made out of barley is super rich in B vitamins. They had a thing in World War II, two hospitals were hit, okay, just very, very close to the one at Hiroshima. And one hospital, they had about an 80% death rate. The other one, they say 90, 90 plus survival rate because they fed them miso soup and fed them seaweed. Now, I don't know if they, if they had an innate intelligence to just say that, wow, this is something that people are deficient in, or they just said, man, you guys are burned all over the place. I'm gonna make you chicken soup like my mom would, you know? So this is like the Japanese version of chicken soup. It turns out that it had a fantastic <coughs> detoxing effect. So when we see what people were exposed to that survived, this is it. This is it, this is one of them. Can you Whole get that grains. In you can get at mothers, a lot of different places. The, the, now here, see, whole grains, seaweed, all of these things, they're all whole nutrients, they're whole foods, they detox your system. Now let's say that you're going to get exposed to radiation on your skin, okay? How many people here are being exposed to it right now? Everybody, it's going right through the ceiling. Okay, it is, it is. So you got to understand this, that detoxing supplements, sulfur compounds, these are, um, you know, dark green leafy, or uh, sulfur like uh, cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, all of those increase glutathione, and you can get glutathione in, in uh, your body produces it if you eat more broccoli and, and cauliflower. But detoxing is everything. Aloe vera, fantastic for the skin. Okay, curcumin, and we got all of this stuff on, on the sheet. Eat it or put it on? Um, both. Both. And sodium bicarbonate. I mean, when we talk about cancer, um, we talk about changing the system to alkaline. Sodium bicarbonate baths. Should this be standard protocol for everybody in America at least once a month? Yeah. You can get the most powerful, powerful detoxicant, most powerful effect medicine available that's approved by the military. I mean, the U.S. military, the United States Army recommends sodium bicarbonate to protect the kidneys from radiation damage. 50 pounds for like 30 bucks. Can you do anything in a shower? Because um, everyone has one. Um, the do it in the shower. You can, you can take it orally. You can mix it in food. You can bathe in it, but you got to bathe in it. You got to soak in it. And, and when you're done with this, okay, baking soda baths and aloe vera, okay? If you happen to like solar radiation, let me tell you, I know, I'm outside all the time. That's not me, but you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit more furry than that, but, but you know, I've been exposed to solar radiation, you know, unintentionally. Baking soda baths, after that, that not only helps rebuild the skin, rebuilds the cells, aloe on it, anything you put on your skin goes into your system. So if you put coconut oil in your skin, it's going to get in your system. You put aloe in your skin, it's going to get in your system. You put baking soda in your skin, it's going to get in your system. Skin's porous. Skin's porous. If you get something inside of your lungs, such as uranium oxide, what they're doing is nebulizing treatments. And the nebulizer means that you put some type of substance in there. A lot of nature paths are doing this. And it mixes it with a little bit of fluid, vaporizes it, and you breathe it in. It's fantastic. So if you have lung exposure, this is one of the best treatments. Dr. Lorraine Day, this is stage four breast cancer. This is, I'm sorry, if you're not familiar, there's no stage five. Okay, this is breast cancer that's metastasized to the chest wall and lung. Okay, this is it. And she cured herself using no surgery, no chemotherapy, no radiation. Okay. For how fast did it how, to get in that condition? In that condition, it actually took the smallest thing that you can see on a mammogram. I'm sorry, are mammograms recommended anymore? No. Okay, good, good. Okay. I'm sorry. What would the medical doctor say? Okay, yeah. No, the ignorant medical doctor. There's brilliant medical doctors. She is a medical doctor. The smallest thing that a, that a mammogram can see is the side of a head of a pin. That means it's about nine years old. Okay, 
Yeah. Uh, thermography can see it within two or three months of formation. Okay, and then you can monitor it to see how fast your body's recovering. But this right here, you're talking at least probably 10, 15 years, maybe a little bit more, maybe even 20. Because once it starts to double, because it, it's just like an embryo, it doubles in size every 90 days and it gets more and more and more. Now she cured herself using no surgery, chemotherapy and radiation because she thought that her body's always regenerating itself. And so she gave her body the materials to regenerate herself. She didn't do things that would detract from herself. And fantastic website too. This is what you use, okay, phytonutrients, this is the real, this, these, these plants have been around for centuries, for eons, and they've developed certain nutrients. Your body kills a billion cells a day, it builds a billion cells a day. If you give it appropriate nutrients, this is what you need to detox. So now should everybody start changing their diet to getting more fruits and vegetables? Yes. Yeah, we have to. Should our kids get, start getting this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, do vaccinations slow or stop a metabolic process and cause tissue damage? Yeah, look at the side effects. Okay, so we can't do stupid things like that anymore. We now have to deal ourselves with real thought. Anything you do to your system, anything in health, anything in nutrition, if it adds to cell production, it's good. If it's not, it's bad, okay? One serving of fresh vegetables lower heart disease risk. Is one serving of vegetables a good idea? Yes. Yeah, except now if you don't get more than one serving, you're going to die because of the radiation. But the solution's there. Do you want to go through Hiroshima and Nagasaki and only make it to 93? Yeah. Okay, heart disease prevents cancer. This is what your body actually requires. Now here, I wrote down whole grains, barley soup, I mean all the, all the essentials on this. If man makes it, don't eat it. If it comes in fast food, you don't go there. Okay, I'm sorry, how many people in here would feed a french fry to your dog? Why? Why wouldn't you? You love your dog. Okay, yeah. No, then you're not going to feed it to yourself. Okay? I know, I love my dog too. Okay, but, but you know, it's, it's really clear. If you're going to eat an animal, make sure it's a healthy animal. 90% of our cows have leukemia. That's a blood cancer. Do you want it that? No, I'd rather not. Okay, I'll pass. So this is what your system actually needs to survive nuclear radiation. Why? Because we're exposed to it right now. You cannot trust the media, understand what's going on with our planet. You need a nervous system free of subluxation. And this, the nervous system controls every function. We're going to get into this over the next two weeks like you can't believe. We're going to talk about how the immune system works. How, if you're built, killing a billion cells a day, how do you regenerate a healthy body? It's that. Exercise. You exercise to detox. You've got only four ways to detox. Respiration, perspiration, poop and peep. Well, I was a dad. I can say poop and peep. Okay. You know, you know, okay. Well, I'm still a dad, but he's older. Okay, so respiration, that's what exercise does. Perspiration, exercise does. It also increases urination. Okay, so this is fantastic. And since you're a normal, healthy person is killing a billion cells a day, what do you think our population's gonna be like in five years? We're gonna be killing maybe two billion cells a day, maybe three. Our body's gonna adapt. So this is right here, not just important, it's essential to our, our species' survival. Nutrition, this means if your body can build a human being out of it, it's appropriate. If it's designed for shelf life, it's inappropriate. Okay? Okay, you know, I mean, if you want to drink pus, blood, and antibiotics, that's pasteurized milk. If you want to drink a healthy animal, you know, it's a little different. Sufficient rest, this means deep sleep every night, REM state of sleep so your body can rebuild itself. Prayer and meditation. Every study that you see on this, if you have a connection and you pray and meditate, your cell production skyrockets. Whether you're spiritual or not, you pray and meditate every day, your cell production is high. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, good. It does to me too. <sighs> Procrastination is the thief of health. We no longer can do that for our planet. Okay, our species is going to die unless it changes. This is our species we're talking about now. 